Hi guys, it's me X Rainbow or Tufts, whatever you want to call me. I'm here today to talk about the Trade Skill Master Depths Desktop application. Um, a lot of you have asked me how to set it up, what it is, etc. So I'm just going to go through a quick guide on how you can set it up for yourself and make your life way easier. For those of you who do use Trade Skill Master, obviously you should be using it if you're looking at this video. You'll notice that when you go to the auction house, you have to do scans. Uh, you can do fast scans, slow scans, but generally if you want to update your professions with prices and your tool tips with prices, you're going to have to scan the auction house to work out your profits, etc. And it can be very annoying, especially on busy, laggy servers. So they've come up with an alternative for this. You can download the free Trade Skill Master application, which automatically downloads and updates your in-game add-ons with prices every so often, which is great because you don't have to be in game for it to update and um, it just makes life way faster because it's it's being uploaded outside of the game so it won't cause you any lag or anything like that so uh, as you can see here it says visit tradeskillmaster.com and so we'll be going there in a second another great thing about the application is that you can actually put your deal finding lists into the application and when it scans the auction house to update your prices, it will also bing and give you a list of all the items that are cheap, uh, cheaper than uh, how you've listed them on your deal finding lists. So you know immediately, oh, there's ghost iron on, or on there for cheaper than 20 gold a stack, which is great because it saves you ages of having to search through all your lists because it just does it automatically. So let's go over to the website and have a look on how to set it up. I apologize for this weird boop noise my microphone is making when I start recording each time. I have no idea why it's doing that or how to stop it from doing that, so I'll try and make as a, a small amount of clips as I can. Anyway, so you've got to go to www.tradeskillmaster.com on your browser and you end up on this website and it talks about you know the desktop application, etc. And it's great, there's so much information on here about Tradeskillmaster, there's guides there's help, you can donate th to the creators, and there's forums, etc. And there's also a group maker, I'll just show you quickly, which is great. If you want to import groups into WoW but you don't know how to make them, you can always just find lists online, paste them here, and it will give you a, a box of code which you can then paste into your import box in WoW, and it will load all the lists for you, which is great. That's not why we're here, we're here to go to the Trades Commands application, so let's click on that. It talks a little bit about what it is, the requirements it needs, so you'll need to download Trade Skill Master Auction Database, and you can do that via Curse or however you usually download your add-ons, and uh, Trade Skill Master Shopping, blah, blah blah blah, all the stuff that you should need to get, and then it says click here to see installation instructions and get the application. So here we go. What you're going to need to do first is go over here and log in because it needs to generate a code for you and you need to have an account in order to do that. The code allows you to basically link your personal Trade Skill Master application to all the downloads and stuff. Um, I guess it's generally to save the company bandwidth and it's just necessary. So all you've got to do is enter your email address and a display name and a password and some other little bits. And so once you've logged in, you'll see you can have log out and my account up here. So what you're going to want to do is click on my account and you'll come to this page here and you're going to want to generate a code for your uh, Trade Skill Master application. So go over here and click on TSM apps and it will tell you you may have up to five devices. So make a name, I'm going to call mine home and generate a key. And all you've got to do is make sure that you keep this key personal to yourself because you don't want anyone else to use it because it will conflict your information in theirs. So generate a key and get it on your copy and paste. Super duper. Now once you've done that, all you've got to do is click on the Windows or Mac TSM application in order to run it or download it and run it. So let, here we go. Let's download that. Doopy doopy doo. Once it's done, it should um, open. Yep. No red and raw, I do not want to buy you. Double click on it, start it, and usually it would tell you, please accept our terms and condition. And then you've got to log in with your details, which I will do now. So once you've entered in the email of the account you just made and your code, it will restart the program and it may 
again give you please accept our terms uh, if you can't log in try clicking the little button in the top bottom right that says clear login something rather and that will probably fix it because the servers do take a second to update when you generate a code so uh, as I've run this before it is remembering a few things about me but what you're going to want to do is um, set up your own things I want to add storm scale horde to my TSM because that's the realm that I live on hooray so just add all the realms that you want to take part you want the application to take part on and they scan the information of and um, now we'll go through the other options it's just basically you've got to make sure you tick the servers that you want you can have to five for it to scan those otherwise it won't scan them and then you can you know, deal notifications here you can go through your shopping lists and tick them and these are the things that pop up and say oh blah blah, blah is cheaper than 30 gold or whatever every so often you can also get it to email you when things are set under a certain price which can be good but it can also spam up your email if you aren't careful and then the main most important part is the WoW auction updater so what you're going to want to do now is on the WoW auction page uh, you're going to want to go to wowauction.com which is, is a really good website um, it, it basically downloads all the information from WoW current prices and allows you to go through and look at your realm and see what's selling or how much etc so if I choose my own realm here storm scale horde EU it's telling me how much of each item is on the auction house since it scanned it 49 minutes ago how many it sold on average per day and the money they're sold for it's great for looking for potential resales it even gives you um, deals of what's cheap at the moment so now what you're going to want to do is go to resources and click data export at the bottom of the page it's going to be a personal code for you and you're going to want to copy and paste that code in here and press enter and then it will download everything for you and allow you to check your total region data and your storms your whatever your realm is it's going to allow you to tick it and it will start to download information for those realms besides that you can also back up or restore your data for this desktop application which I've never personally done you can export it as well if you have special uh, I don't know, lists or money you you want to keep track of and then it's got a link list of all the places you can read more about the add-on which is great so basically you're done now you've got everything connected and everything's downloading from WoW Auction so if you log in game now everything should automatically update itself and you'll never have to scan the auction house again and just make sure if you do want deal notifications to come up that you go over here and you tick enable app alerts because that's what goes beep and tells you what's cheap otherwise it won't tell you and you'll be like what um, but after a while this should fix itself and tell me what's cheap at the moment it's not doing it because it hasn't scanned it lately but it should do it shortly so as you can see here the next check for all my data is in 51 minutes 39 seconds and if I hover over an item if you look down slightly at TSM auction database it has 53 minutes so it's around the same time that it will totally update itself and all my prices will be up to date so that's that one sorted out and now I no longer have to scan the auction house it can just go away and all my add-ons are set up for me to tell me how much profit I can make with everything that I do which is really really useful and it saves you so much time you don't have to work anything out yourself so good luck guys I hope this helped you and I'll see you soon and for those of you who aren't aware me and my partner Glanix we're doing a 30 day project at the moment where every day we're trying to release something WoW related or related to another video game about gold making etc we have a website at the moment which is www.worldofgoldcraft.co.uk we are doing giveaways of gold in game we're also giving away real items at the moment we have a competition for a minecraft calendar um, I'll be streaming on Sundays we have forums and my blogs at the bottom it's just an update of what's going on the project um, it started last Saturday no, yeah, no, no Sunday and um, 
it's going to be lasting for 31 days. So if you feel like checking out what we're doing, there's a schedule here which will be changing every week and I'll do my best to complete everything on the schedule. And so I hope to see you guys signing up, entering some comments.